The data regarding the height in centimeter of 30 student of a school are as under. Prepare as inclusive continuous frequency distribution of 6 classes and hence prepare less than and more than cumulative frequency distribution. After telemarking, there are some questions which has to be solved. So first of all, let's take this information in the book. The data regarding height of a student which has to be turned as per the suggested in the question inclusive continuous frequency distribution. The smallest observation in the data was 141 and the largest observation was 168. Here in the question classes are given but not class length. So for this we will take the formula of range that maximum observation minus minimum observation that is 168 and 141 get them minus here we got the range 27. Then we will keep the formula of class length that is range divided by class. Range just now we found 27 and the class which is given in the question is 6. Here we got the answer 4.55 the more than the digit 5 will turn into the digit total class length will keep in the this height that is 5. So here we'll start making the class the minimum is 141. So here we'll start with 140 as we are going to make an inclusive class length switch to the 144. In the next line we'll start with 145 to 149 next 150 to 154 155 to 159 next 160 to 164 165 to 169 so after making the class we'll start with the telemarking out of the information 141 the first one next is 145 153 145 162 while doing this, please be focused on your telemarking. If there any telemarking goes wrong, your frequency will be wrong. At the end, end will be the same. But still, you need a correct frequency as we are going to solve the question after this. Next, I will continue with the remaining. Here, after completing telemarking, I wrote the frequency and made a total n is equal to 30. And in this question, they also asked to do calculate less than and more than frequency cumulative frequency and here we can see the class is in inclusive so first of all the inclusive class will turn into exclusive class for this just take the class and the frequency and will turn into it exclusive continuous frequency distribution to take them into the less than and more than types cumulative frequency to find the less than and more than cumulative frequency here I took the class and the frequency to turn inclusive frequency distribution into the exclusive will minus 0 0.5 and over here plus with 0 0.5. If we get minus 140 with 0 0.5 the answer will be 139.5 and if we add 0 0.5 with 144 it would be 144.5. Continue with the remaining take 145 get minus with 0 0.5. Here the answer will be 144.5. The next is 149 which would be add with 0 0.5. So the answer will be 149.5. I'll continue with the remaining. Now here my exclusive continuous frequency class is ready. So out of this we are just going to take the lower boundary point with including one class, one row from the last line. And just write down the numbers in the less than and the more than. And for the frequency of less than, first we'll add with 0. The next is 0 plus 2. The next is 0 plus 2 plus 8. 0 plus 2 plus 8 plus 8. Just keep on adding the next frequency. Six plus 2 at the end don't forget to write down the total I'll show you for the more than as well first of all for the more than we'll take all of them 2 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 and at the end we'll add 0 and one by one we'll remove the front frequency 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 0 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 6 Plus 0, 2 plus 0, this is the 0, 
and at the end 2 and the total is 0, 2, 10, 18, 22, 28, 30 over here 30, 28, 20, 12, 8, 2 and 0. Here we complete question number 4. Moving to the next fifth. Question number 5. The students of university were classified according to the faculty and gender. 60% of total 40,000 students were boys. The number of girls in engineer faculty was 3 times the number of the girls in commerce faculty. 15 and 10% of the total number of university students were boys and the girls respectively who belonged to medical faculty. 20% of total number of students in the university belonged to the faculty science and among these students the number of girls were one seventh of the number of boys. 7 and 17% of the total number of students of arts faculty were boys and girls respectively. 3.75 of the total number of students of the university belong to the commerce faculty and the proportion of boys and girls among them is 3 is to 7. Present the above data in the appropriate table. So lots of information given for preparing table. First of all, remove the attributes out of the question that is faculty of engineering, medical, science, arts and commerce is given and the gender boys and girls. So out of this, first of all, get ready with the table and slow by slow with the one one line will continue with the solution in the table. Here I put the line that the student of university were classified according to the faculty and gender that we are ready with the table. Then 60% of total 40,000 students were boys. Matlab total number of faculties are 40,000 or usme se 60 persons are the boys. So first of all write down the total that total number of faculties are 40,000 and remove 60 person that is 40,000 into 60 divide by 100 we get 24,000 were the boys. So in the boys column write down there are total number of boys 24,000. So 40,000 minus the boys will get the number of girls. Here we get 16,000. Next the number of girls in engineering faculty was three times the number of girls in commerce faculty. Here as we don't have the number of commerce or the engineer will keep this information pending for the next calculation. We'll moving to the next. Here I'm putting the marking that this is going to be done later. 15% and 10%. Of the total number of university students were boys and girls respectively who belongs to the medical faculty. So let's find out for this first. As information given that 15% boys and 10% boys of the total number of students. Total number of students are 40,000 and here we remove the number of boys 15% is 6,000 and 10% girls are 4,000. So we'll write down in the medical 6,000 boys and 4,000 girls. Next, 20% of the total number of students in the university belongs to the faculty of science. First, we'll remove the 20% of total number that is 20% of 40,000. Here, the total number of science faculty is 8,000. So, here is the science. We will write down first total number of faculties 8000. Then it is written and among these students the number of girls were one seventh of the number of boys. So number of girls is one seventh then the number of boys. So here I assume number of boys must be one. So here boys one plus one seventh number of girls is equal to 8000 that's what the equation will become this is boy and this is girl so 1 plus 1 upon 7 so obviously we'll take here lcm the common number will be 7 we'll keep 1 1 ki table mein 7 ka baega 7 se or 7 ki table mein 1 se 
सेवन वन जा सेवन वन वन जा वन इज इक्वल टू एट थाउजेंड सेवन प्लस वन विल बी एट अपॉन सेवन इज इक्वल टू एट थाउजेंड हेयर विल टेक द एट थाउजेंड विल टेक इट डाउन एट अपॉन सेवन विल इफ आई टर्न इन टू दिस इक्वेशन इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस सो फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई एट हेयर आई गॉट द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज इज सेवन थाउजेंड इन faculty of science so here we'll write down 7000 in the number of boys minus 8000 the number of girls over here will become 1000 next 7 and 17% of total number of students of art faculty were boys and girls respectively so we'll remove 7% and 17% of 40000 Here is the calculation for the art faculty: seven percent boys and the seventeen percent of total number of faculties are girls. So let's take into the table number of boys two thousand eight hundred and number of girls six thousand eight hundred. Add them both, you will get nine thousand six hundred. Next. Three point seventy five percent of the total number of students of the university belongs to the commerce faculty. Here I took the total number of faculties, multiply by three point seventy five, divide by hundred. Here I got the number of commerce faculties are fifteen hundred. So first let's take into the table that the total number is fifteen hundred. and then it is written and the proportion of boys and girls among them is 3 is to 7 now for the 3 is to 7 first take 1500 and 3 is to 7 matlab 3 plus 7 10 so it will turn into the ratio 3 upon 10 and 7 upon 10 that these are the boys and these are the girls that's what the calculation remove for the commerce students So here the number of boys are four fifty and number of girls are one zero five zero. So here we end up with all the information, but the one thing it was left that the number of girls in engineer faculty was three times the number of girls in commerce faculty. So first of all, let's find out the number of girls three times than the commerce faculty. Engineering girls are three times of the numbers of commerce girls. So first of all, let's take the number of commerce girls are one zero five zero, and just get it multiply the three times. Here we get three one five zero. So that's what the number of girls. Now here we got all the information of girls, and here the missing number of boys of engineering. So just add these four numbers and get minus with twenty four thousand. That is here. I took the total. That is one six two five zero. That is the number of boys. The remaining number get minus with twenty four thousand. This sixteen thousand two fifty get just minus with twenty four thousand. You will get the number of boys in the medical fa uh, engineering faculty. That is seven seven two five zero. Sorry, seven seven five zero, not two five zero. in the same way we'll continue with the total column just give the total of 10000 8000 9000 600 and 1500 that is 29100 get minus with the total that is 40000 you will get the number of total in the engineering faculty that is 10900 so here we complete here we complete the last question from the section f and the chapter presentation of data this is how the calculation will go now see you all in the next chapter thank you for watching